Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Tim again. Um, in this video, we're actually going to be talking to, or answering a question rather, uh, where to blog. And this question comes about again, like a lot of the other ones, from people just asking me. Way too often for me to ignore it, so I'm figuring I better just answer it in a video. Um, now, contrary to what you've probably been told, I am not going to tell you to start a WordPress website. Uh, I'm assuming you're brand new or even fairly new. The last thing you need to do is to start a WordPress website. Um, yes, I can, you know, I can give you affiliate links for hosting and domain names and all that and make money off of it, but I would definitely be doing you a disservice if I did that. Now, if you've been at it for a while, and even if you haven't eventually, yes, you are going to need to, you know, it's always a good idea, but if you're even remotely new, don't go starting a WordPress website thinking that you're going to make a business out of it. it. It just doesn't work that way. So instead of doing that, where you need to start, um, we have options here. Everybody talks about it. This is Medium. Uh, I'm no different. I talk about it too. There's a reason for that. Uh, this has got a very high domain rank. Which means, you know, as far as Google and other search engines are concerned, it's a very powerful site. So if you write on here, it's very likely to rank, which is always a good thing. And as far as writing, it's really simple. You create your account, look up here in the top right, and it literally says write. So if you click that, then, you know, you go straight to it. Just put your title, your subtitle, if you create a, uh, you, know, you create a blog banner after this, like, my awesome spelled wrong, awesome title equally awesome subtitle. And if you highlight any of the text, just make it a subtitle. Very quickly, I have videos on how to do this. It's not hard to find, but the only reason why I did that is I wanted to show you this. Um, as far as the blog banner, it is required uh, on all of your posts for a uh, medium, but you don't even have to create your own. You should create your own, which you can do in Canva or half a dozen other places. But if you don't want to create your own, the second option here is Unsplash. Uh, let's see. Let's just go with dog. Then, you know, if you just pick one and there you go. There's your your uh, blog banner. Then, of course, come down here and start writing. Make sure you have headers over each one of your sections. And make sure it's at least 600 words. But beyond that, just do you. <laughs> you know, you do you. Now, the second option, which I talk about a lot on this channel, is vocal media. I still love this. They've actually added new communities. But pretty much any topic that you can think of that you want to write about, there's a community that it belongs in. And this one works the exact same way as Medium. You just go up to create story. And it's the exact same thing. You make your title, your subtitle. You, again, you have Unsplash. You can search for your blog banner. Or you can upload one of your own, which is what I really suggest you do. And again, headers. Make sure you have headers over each section. Make sure you have 600 words or more, and you're good to go. The cool thing about this is if you look down here, it will actually, like, it actually tells you how many words you've written. But you can see poetry has to be 100 words. Everything else has to be at least 600 words. So that's my second one. Both of these will pay you. You can join their partner program for free. And once you're accepted, which doesn't take a whole lot, I gotta admit, um, you know, it'll it'll pay you according to how many reads you get. So that's option two. Option three is LinkedIn. This is obviously for more professional articles and blog post style writings, uh, because this is a prof you know, this is a social media platform for professionals. So obviously, you want to write for the platforms or writing on 
Uh, the other two for vocal media and medium is kind of up to you. Um, I would do keyword research and kind of write what you're going to rank well. But other than that, it's pretty much up to you. On LinkedIn, you definitely want to go for the more professional topic. Um, you know, you can you can write articles about being a freelance writer, just whatever you want to do. But on this one, very, very simple again. Um, this is just basically the home page. And like this is my feed right here where it says start a post. You can either click here and like it says, start a post. But the better option is to come here and write an article because they tend to rank better. But yeah, you would just click write article, same thing, header, all that kind of stuff. Just do your thing. Now, a new one that I can't really tell you much about is Newsbreak. Uh, I don't think the site is new. It's just new to me. I recently found out about this. I've created an account, but I haven't, I haven't actually started writing on here yet. But I am going to. And if you want me to keep you updated on you know, my opinion and how things go with Newsbreak, let me know in the comment section. And I'll make sure to include videos on this and to kind of keep you updated on it. And obviously, I'll end up making instructional videos for you once you know I figure out best practices for here. But I suspect that a lot of it is going to be same as anywhere else, you know, just the professional practices and all that. Now, these platforms that I've mentioned are the best places for beginners, uh, even if you're just you know somewhat a beginner. Um, I would definitely make sure you're on these platforms. Newsbreak, I've heard good things, so I will say it's worth jumping on. That's why I'm going to try it. But if you really want to make money, real money, and you want to make an actual business out of being a freelance writer, your best bet is and will always be to actually find clients to write for. Um, you know, if you're brand new, just be honest with them. Tell them you're brand new and make sure that you price your services accordingly to you being brand new. You can always raise them later if you've gotten some experience. But your best bet, just freelance, actually get clients. You can check other videos on this channel that will teach you how to do it. Subscribe. Make sure you keep up with the videos coming up because I'm going to teach you literally everything you could, would, and never want to know on how to do this. Um, now, this is me representing getting clients because one thing I would also suggest that you get, you can see I typed it in, just freelance customer management system. Um, this isn't as important in the beginning. You know, if you have like three clients, you don't necessarily have to have a management system, but it's good to go ahead and start off with one. That way, by the time you need it, you've already got it and everything's already kind of entered and locked in. Not to mention it makes taking payments from your clients a whole lot easier because most of these will have payment systems or invoicing built in. Uh, so just a suggestion, I mean, also comes down to money because obviously these aren't free, but most of them aren't as expensive as you would think they are. So just go into Google, you know, freelance customer management system. And as you can see, there's, you know, a buttload of them. Uh, I think the list's probably never going to end on that. Um, I will tell you this one, HoneyBook is the one that I use. I'm going to be doing tutorials and all on that very soon. So anyway, as far as where to blog, people ask me that all the time. You know, I'm brand new. I'm really excited. Where do I start? What, you know, where do I blog? Or even, you know, I've been doing this for five years, but where do I blog, you know, to actually make money off of it? Well, that's it. Medium, vocal media, uh, try news break. Like I said, I'll keep you updated on that one. Uh, definitely post on LinkedIn because it kind of ties in. You can start to make money on LinkedIn, I believe. But the main reason I say to write articles on LinkedIn is because you can tie in a services page that lets people know that, hey, you know, I provide freelance writing services. 
so you can tie that in but your articles are what that's what's going to bring them to your profile to find that services page and then of course actually get clients and write for clients that's where the real money is and like i said don't have to but i would suggest getting a management system at least near the start so that you don't get lost in the weeds and have to go back and like scramble to do all this and get it all set up and then telling all your clients hey you know we got a new system in place now we're going to be doing things this way because if you have to do that some of them are going to get frustrated and be like you know what that's fine we just don't need you anymore so maybe start off with it as soon as you can that's it that's where you blog that's where i would say start that is my personal and professional opinion uh, if you have any other questions, just put them in the comments. Make sure you like, you subscribe, all that crap that everybody tells you to do because it actually does help. Uh, that's why we keep telling you that. So that is it. Now go get it done. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week in next week's video. Bye for now.